Sports are topping the headlines. In fact, the industry is poised to cross the billion dollar milestone this year. And this weekend, Pittsburgh is set to add another milestone to the list when it hosts one of the biggest women's hockey games in Steel City history. So joining us now are two of the women really at the forefront. Caroline Fitzgerald, the founder of Pittsburgh based women's sports agency Goals, and also Shannon Webster, the senior director of youth hockey at the Pittsburgh Penguins. Thank you both for joining us. We really appreciate it. And, you know, women's sports really all over on the uptick, you might say. I mean, really gaining momentum. Why do you think that is? I mean, the time is now. I think you're absolutely right. We are at a tipping point with women's sports. Everywhere you look across the women's sports industry, numbers are up and to the right. Yeah. And I think it's for a couple reasons. I think we have to give a lot of credit to Title IX. We have, for the first time, five generations of women and girls who have had the opportunity to not only play sports, but see women play sports at the mm -hmm. highest level. And also for the first time in history, we're starting to treat women's sports like it's big business. We know men's sports are big business, and now we're investing in women's sports. We're putting women's sports on TV for the first time ever. So they're more accessible than ever before. So it's no surprise that more people are watching them right. ever before. I mean, it, we, we talk about this all the time. You need to see someone that looks like you doing the thing that you want to do to, to have that dream, to have that goal. And we've had that five generations now. Tell us about bringing this big game. Yeah, so we have over 2,000 kids, um, women and girls that play locally. So I'm really excited for them to have the opportunity now that the Professional Women's Hockey League is in its inaugural season um, to come and witness the product on ice. These girls are um, skilled. <laughs> Um, both at their profession as well as in life and, and very well educated and I think that their on ice product is is going to be surprising to a lot of local fans. Yeah. Yeah, really making it high profile and can have such an impact on not only young girls, but young boys too that might be watching, you know, really. So this is a piece of history that I had forgotten. The Pittsburgh Pennies in the 1970s was a professional women's hockey team right here. Tell us about them. The Pittsburgh Pennies are incredible. What a group of trailblazers. Back in the 70s, like you said, they said, we want to have a pro women's hockey team, so they started one, which mm -hmm. was one of the first in the whole world. They practiced out of Swissvale in the Civic Arena. They used really? to take the ice at 2 a.m. because it was the only time they could have ice to practice. Mm. They used to travel to Toronto and Philly and mm -hmm. Buffalo to play, and they really paved the way for those 2,000 girls, like Shannon mentioned, that are playing today. So we are lucky to have a trailblazing group like the Pennies here in Pittsburgh. And I know there are families at home watching this right now, girls who have been playing ice hockey for their whole lives, like going through this and working through the process and saying, yeah, it's about time. We have this coming and, and seeing professional teams playing on our ice. How important is it for young girls to see this? Yeah, I think um, it's always said if you can see it, you can be it. So um, whether you want to work in the front office or different different part of sports too, but um, being on the ice is, is something definitely to strive for. But I think it's it's really awesome that now kids have and, and can actually bring that dream to a reality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of sure. course, the big game this weekend. Uh, but talk to us about like how long. It's just a matter of time, right? Before Pittsburgh has an, a, another professional women's ice hockey team, right? The, Do the we return think of the pennies. <laughs> You know, we certainly don't know what the future holds, but the president of business operations at the Penguins, Kevin Acklin, said recently in an interview that the Penguins would really support the opportunity to have a women's pro team here in Pittsburgh. So we don't know, but the Penguins organization is certainly in support of it. I'm so glad you brought up the Pens, too, because they do so much to inspire the next generation of players, both men and women, young girls and, and boys. Yeah. Yeah, we have, um, I mean, we have elite teams that were training literally weekly, a year round almost, um, to kind of get to that next level, as well as grassroots programs, such as Sydney Crosby's Learn to Play program. Um, I mean, we have a thousand kids that go through the program every year that are just beginners and five to nine. So uh, they're really just taking their first steps and, and enjoying the product. And I'd ask you too about girls hockey being sanctioned because we covered mm -hmm. girls wrestling earlier this year or last year rather. So, and, and that has been the case, right? Yeah, absolutely. The um, High school league around here has an actual girls division with seven teams in it. Um, I believe they're expanding to eight this year. So wow. it just shows you that there's more demand than ever. That's wonderful. It's all exciting. And we really appreciate you guys being here to talk with us about Thank this. You. Yeah. Thanks for, Thank having, you us. for having us. Yeah. Well, the rivalry between Toronto and Montreal comes to a head at PPG Paints Arena on St. Patrick's Day, Sunday, March 17th. Yeah, and we have a link for tickets on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.